gentlemen, please take your seats. The show is about to begin. Look, if you had one shot or one opportunity, seize everything you ever wanted in one moment. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the stream 2024 ACA final. Yeah, yeah. Two best teams in this damn game getting it on on uh, all too familiar Carantan, right? You can see right behind us uh, Canal Crossing and the two teams right over there. We've got the Extreme Dinosaurs and uh, no, nobody's uh, going to deny uh, a spree. Everybody knows who a spree is at this point, but um, Extreme Dinosaurs, it was a little backstory to these guys. They are, um, we'll just say a conglomerate of like all the best former teams from, from Europe. I want to say it was core when it d disbanded in DC. So a lot of these great players decided to get together and make one super team. So these guys are, from what I remember, awesome. And it's going to be two great teams clashing today on Carantan. And I know it's the final, so I did put a little extra work in and I just wanted to kind of briefly go over who are the impact players, who are the players to look out for. So we're going to start off first with a spree and a squad leader that um, he came back after about a three month hiatus, a guy named Takahara. Solid squad leader, combat effectiveness off the chart, defensive uh, effectiveness. You can all see that good stuff. The dude is just a, a, a straight player. He's going to be a dude you need to watch or I'm going to watch today if, the, if a spree wants to win. Here's another great guy. Squad leading probably today. You've got Paradox, another solid player, all around shooter, you know, smart, no, no, knows the game inside and out. And um, 
our final, he's like the assault. He's like the jack of all trades. Everybody knows him. I know him from many casts. High speed hilly. He, he's going to have a sick game if if uh, a spree wants to win, and and it's going to be it's going to be a, an awesome final. Now on the flip side, now we've got some guys that you you might recognize from other teams. Like I said, um, extreme dinosaurs. They were originally called recycled, which is basically a whole bunch of teams coming together. And here's one guy by the name of bloody nine he was a former tl guy and uh he's now joined up with uh extreme dinosaurs this guy's a great all-around player I've, I've cast this guy many many times knows the game inside and out great at managing the squad also this guy who i had him as my mvp runner-up in the 2022 seasonal he needs to know this guy thorpey is i mean top top class top shooter in this game he's gonna be all over the field today, I can guarantee that. And our last guy, everybody's favorite, can't can't forget about my G, and that's Bommel Bommel Rommel, another guy to look out for. So that's what I have. I think those guys are going to light up the scoreboard, and it's super important that those guys have great games for their teams in order to win. So anyway, as I'm sitting around here waiting, I just wanted to get the stream started a little bit early, just waiting on password, server information i'm just checking out the oh, oh we, we actually did get it okay cool so about to load up get into the into the server we always like to check i know alberg with <laughs> he and i were going back and forth in discord about making sure we have all those pre-game checks there's a lot that goes into a, a live cast and the last thing you need right before you're ready to get it started is you don't have admin camera access. So hopefully that's all good. And uh, all right, so let's see. I don't have a squad yet, so I'm just going to join anyone just just to make sure that the camera is working. Yeah, the camera's working. Fantastic. All right, so what we'll do is we'll just jump into the live scene. Here we go. See you in. So everything is Gucci. No problems. Just run over the roster while we got a little bit of time. You guys get an idea. So nobody is in quite yet for Extreme Dinosaurs. Actually, as I say that, they're loading up right now. So it looks like we're going to be pretty close to uh, a 3 p.m. Eastern Standard New York start. So in two minutes, we're going to go live, most likely. But we'll just go over the roster. Now, these are obviously aren't the players that are going to be in those positions. Like, Chris is not going to be commanding. Um, but here we go. Shaka Zulu. That's a name to look out for. Clown face. I remember casting him and, and here's a tidbit of information. The semifinal that I casted last week with a spree playing against uh, syndicate was on Carantan. So we're having literally a rematch of the same exact map. And I believe they, the uh, spree side will be also allies again. Yes, they will be for a second time in a row. So comfort is definitely on the side of a spree. I got a feeling that Inchon will be the man commanding today. An OG definitely knows his game. Here's our guy Fortress who will be the, yeah, if the brr didn't give it away, that's the MG guy that everyone's going to hate. Yeah, Adam, per usual, will be doing the artillery for a spree. Excel, another squad leader that you got to look out for. Solid. He's going to be rocking most likely with Paradox. I think I've seen those two guys together in High Speed Hilly. Just need him. There he is. High Speed's in the game. Takahara is here. So everybody that I highlighted in the pre pre match is here. Now let's just see if all the dudes from Extreme. 
Mr. Do, Tanker from TL. There he is. That's Bloody Nine. <laughs> Noob Nine. Uh, Mike Lowry, shout out to you, buddy. He's, he's going to put up a monster name uh, game. Uh, let's see, Static. <laughs> Fuse, Fuse. I got a funny, if I lock on to Fuse, got a nice little lower third of that guy. Boss Man, another guy from TL. That, so that that's going to be a really solid. Wait a minute, Bloody Night. Oh, my God. They're out here trolling. Thorpey's in the game. Now, I just don't see Bommel quite yet. He might be just this guy. Who knows, man? Bommel, Bommel. Yeah, he might be that guy who <laughs> screws with everybody. Anyway, let's go over. Swing up north to the canal crossing. Give you guys an idea of what these uh, midpoints are going to look like. I mean, with two evenly matched teams like this, you can get used to seeing, you know, you're going to see either canal crossings to the north, town center, which is right here with this little triangle, or you're going to see train station down south. These, the, the E and the F column, you're going to get to know intimately. Uh, these two teams are, are, are definitely going to be locked in a 3-2. That's how I have it, ending in a 3-2. Um, and I'll hold off my prediction till we get the map flip. And then I'll go over the quick little head-to-head -head graphic I put together. But here's Canal Crossing. Like I said in the previous match, that three-store building is massive. Owning that, this factory building to the southeast is also going to be huge. And uh, the last key to Canal Crossings is what you're seeing right here. These trenches... Controlling the trenches, obviously. The choke point being the bridge. Now, as we move further down, we'll go over to... And this is where the strong point was for the syndicate match. It was town center. And uh, if I remember correctly, a spree as per... Excel, they, they generally go for map control. So expect to see these guys on the rollout to look to control the chapel to the north. Okay, they'll, they will send some guys front door. They will, they will send the guys in through the front door here. And they also will be looking to put some guys down here on train station, believe it or not. And one thing I know about a spree is they don't panic. If they go down, they actually went down... 2-3 to Syndicate and uh, didn't panic or anything. Squad leaders or veterans just took their time and replaced the OPs after the point was flipped and they just slowly converged and within I'd say the first five minutes of Syndicate holding a spree came back strong and recapped that midpoint. Now further down to the south we have train station Tanks are, are basically going to be the lane holders. You can just see it's just a bunch of straight lines. Tanks going to be holding anything and everything that tries to cross. So infantry is going to be pushed off into these little backyards. And it, it's going to be tough. If, if the infantry can get into the factory in here, that's going to be obviously a huge thing as well. Once, once again, we're, we're 98 full. Looking, looking pretty good. On a side note, there's also the, the... Well, this is the majors because HCA is broken up into two, two divisions. This is the majors. This, these are the heavy hitters. These are the best teams in all of Hell at Loose. But there is also a minors, which is no slight to them. But we've got uh, 82nd playing, I want to say, man, if I'll be, I think it's Helos. I think 82nd and, or no, no, 82nd and the Circle are playing in the, uh, the Miners Finals. I'm, I think I want to say Angelo is casting that one, and I'm not sure of the other guy who's going to be casting. But they'll be going on at the same time, so if you want to split your screens up and just check out both, that would be cool. Support this uh, competitive scene, you know. Get, get all, give all the likes, show, show the community, you know, the competitive community that I love. Uh, get on those streams, get in the comments. 
you know, support your team, support the players. He's getting his warm up in, you know. Oh hell, bro! The hell, bro! Come on! Once again, looking for there he is. There's the he's, Bommel's in. So all the guys I highlighted, um, Gorilla Tactics. He'll be in a tank. Uh, another, uh, actually, I think he's been a he's been on quite a few teams. I know he was on a Syndicate for a hot minute. Um, Drewski might have been TL. A lot, of, a lot of these guys I recognize. Ninja Pulver, I believe, was DC at some point. Yeah, Thorpe eighty second. So, you know, a lot of these great guys decided, hey, man, let's make this massive, awesome team. And here they are, finals. And for those that don't know how the HCA rules work, it's... Tigers only, no Panthers. Um, has something to do with the, the Panther just being a little bit too OP. Also, uh, nodes are not to be disturbed in any kind of way. And there will be also one artillery player on, on whatever gun they pick. And they are unmolested, untouched. And I think there's a script, if I'm not mistaken, that if you accidentally shoot the artillery player off... Uh, I think like 10 players get disconnected or some crazy thing like that. So I'm not sure about, you know, there's a team forfeit. I mean, I don't know. Even if they spawn in a um, Panther tank, what happens? I, I'm not sure. It hasn't happened. So I, I wouldn't want to, I wouldn't want to have to go to the rules. You got your money on Kiwi. Don't clean it off. Don't clean the blood off that white. I mean, off the knife. Anyway, if I don't get a message in Discord about what squad, I'm, I'm just going to jump in with Adam. Hopefully they don't have any kind of crazy roll out where he's like running support and then he drops his subs then gets into the artillery piece i'm just hoping it's nice and easy to get in to the right squad and actually i wouldn't mind getting into the artillery squad because you get to see where all those marks are coming down so it is a uh, a benefit or bonus to the people watching at home and there we go we've got map change like i said now that i've got a little bit of time i want to go over this head-to-head -head matchup. Now, this is what I, this is, again, this is my opinion. I didn't consult with anybody, but I think infantry slightly going over to even extreme as well as the tanks. I just think they got so many awesome former CS pro shooters. Artillery, I'm giving the nod to Adam just because he's done it consistently, but the teamwork and the, and, and the communication experience all leaning toward um, a spree because I just think these guys have 
developed a, a, a synergy amongst one another that that gives them that advantage when maybe they don't have maybe the and, and we're talking like fractionally guys we're not talking like massive differences we're talking very slight these these shooters are all the best of the best this is the creme de la creme of hell let loose shooters so we're talking very minor like advantages if you even want to call them that so with that being said i i do believe i had a spree being the slight favorite although what i've seen in discord a lot of people are betting on the extreme dinosaurs to come away with the dub so Yeah, I'm really not trying to screw this one up on these guys, man. But maybe I'm in an armor squad. I don't know who to join, to be honest with you. I'll tell you what, I'm just going to join Prep, Free the Trickens. Feel free to boot me out, chicken, uh, on your first death. And, uh, all right, Canal Crossing. All right, I'm actually happy. It was good. Everyone likes Town Center, but... Uh, I don't know. I just, it's hard as hell to cast that. It's just not that, that exciting. It's just so grindy in there. So we're going to swing over past the gate and we're just going to sit on canal crossings. Hopefully we can catch a few snipes. And we'll just park the bus up here a little bit and we'll kind of watch the rollout. All right, and we do want to check to see the commander. Is it Inchon? It's, it is Inchon commanding today. Supplies going down in the D6. Obviously, that's going to be for garrison. Now, you can expect to see your normal garrison. You're going to see one at the top of the three. Maybe recess a little bit behind this shed. Uh, same thing. You're not going to put it out in the open. So, you're going to get one up to the top of the three. Maybe one recessed in the four. One on the point proper. And maybe this one's a little further down. But you're going to see a spread. Maybe four garrisons off the start. Now, on, a, on an open strong point like Canal Crossing, I think the, the probability of getting a truck snipe is pretty good. So, loading up heavy, light tank to the south, medium, with recon, or excuse me, transport truck running up top. Rondo's waiting on the truck. Couple snipes I heard just fly by. There's another one. Okay, looks like the snipes. Every team is pretty much clean. Now to the northeast, there's that factory building. If they did it correctly, they're probably gonna put a garrison. 
right on the edge of the water. Now, the point proper right down below. Here's the, the three-story J Quattro getting taken out. Looking pretty even off the start. It is literally back and forth. See, so I told you, infantry so evenly matched. Now, tanks holding lanes. Boss men and dabs trying to do as much damage. Common is waiting for a rocket shot. He's got one in. Now, like I said earlier, that factory building where Bloody Nine is, Belcher, Vlad, press F. These guys have the preferred positions. Now, can this a spree group that just spawned in off of Vladipus is at uh, OP? All right, can they? They're stacking the building. Now, back to the trenches. It's looking pretty good right now for extreme dinosaurs at this moment. I don't think a spree has given up on the cap yet. I don't think they're even thinking, let's play the flip just yet. I know it's two thirds cap. There's a little more than like about 45 seconds left. Oh my God, big artillery. That that might be the, the one that seals the deal. And Havald, or Harold, excuse me, Harold is the guy on artillery for extreme dinosaurs. And that was a massive, Massive strike. And I'm not sure you're less than mm, 10 seconds. And it, I'm pretty sure we can almost chalk this up. A nice start for Extreme Dinosaurs. It's just about official. And there we go. 3 2 off the rip for Extreme Dinosaurs. Now. Again, it's like one of those things. The spree's not gonna panic. I mean, just look at that building. That three, that three stories packed tight. Trenches. Now, gas is one dude you got to look out for. He put up a phenomenal game. I think it was like nine, yeah, like nine hundred combat effective. Now, real quick, let's get a map check. Recess garrison. Garrison to the top of the three. Another one front door. I mean, their, their network of garrisons are what you would expect from a spree. They're excellent at that. Stewart's gonna try clean up this three-story a little bit. Blast off some HE rounds. Allow Hitman and AIM to get in there. Yeah, 
but Harold knows. Harold knows. He's just like, shell the shit out of the three story. Panzer IV, Willie Peak. Will the Stewart Peak? I'm guessing not. Panzer IV is most likely just going to hold that lane. I don't think he wants any smoke up there where the infantry is. Although I could be wrong, he is moving up. Stewart is moving away. Satchel going off once once Extreme knew they weren't going to hold building they had a satchel and it worked beautifully now they're retaking the three story the lights in full retreat Panzer IV takes it down nice shot yeah we're, we're in for a hell of a final this is great I mean, you're going to see a spree get pushed to her, to their limits. And and can, you know, the dinosaurs who've got great players, but maybe they don't have the time together working, you know, can they hold for basically you know, 60, 75 plus minutes? To the northeast, we've got the factory building. Now, these guys are up here in the north. Are going to look to clap the top of the three, get Takahara, Father Pig, and all the guys. KO, the three squad leads up there. They know how important top map control is. putting work it's in father pig but yeah those two squad leads from a spree knocked out supported by the looks at the north now we've got tank for a spree with bruv relic Koopa. 7-6. Slowly going to move up now. Down goes the Stewart. Excuse me. Looks. Great shot now. is confirmed. Looks is dead. Now, recon plane going out for spree. Catch anything in the net? Nothing. I'm not seeing much.
you know, from the looks of things, this is quite impressive from the dinosaurs. These guys have literally cleared out the entire sector. They have the top three clean. They've got the point proper. And they're even starting to gain the area to the south, which is close to town center. Are getting the better of Shaka. So, Karina, you got the get the white helmet on. Liking it. Things have calmed down a little bit. Now you're now you're players are holding lanes and now it's now the grind begins now can you slowly begin to root out the enemy you know and these i'm gonna say at guns are just doing work because i don't think they're tanks from dinosaurs but artillery Boy Thorpey. Just gonna crawl around a little bit. Damn, Thorpe. Be like that. Hearing is a bombing run. Yes, it is. A spree bombing run. West, east, down the main. Maybe to clear some space. Uh, maybe, maybe if there was a garrison in this courtyard, but I'm not seeing one. And this is what we have across the way. We've got the panther, the tiger of Dab's gorilla and Dr. You Know What. Again, big picture. Garrisons looking pretty good. Uh, yeah, they've got recessed garrisons at ruins. They got a nice little group of infantry that we're seeing right here. Para, Shaka, Taz, Crims. These are these are some great shooters. This is gonna be great how this unfolds. And Nero is just putting in. See the tank commander? Ah, the Panther, Panther 4. Through the smoke. Uh, 
Now he's down to two crew. Two? I said two meant one. Only one in the crew. Keep our eye on that, because if that goes dead, that might free up the, the south and allow a lane for a spree to get in. Boom, it's just cruising. Looking to clean up any spree infantry that's left over. Now that's interesting. Boss man is out of the tank. Running with the assault kit. Ranger. Nice job. Nice job. Let's get that ranger. Is that tiger sitting in the back just going to be really menacing positioning of tanks so so huge and right now this this tiger right here is just going to lock this whole area the three story plus the factory building Power a man on a mission today. Winning a lot of those 1v1s. Now we look into the north. North looks light. Chris gets the clap on hell, bro. Got a bomb -o sighting. Chucking and ducking. Nice job of holding those trenches, like we said. If you want to control, you need to have bodies in trenches. Static is to the north. Minecraft below that. Now you've got high speed in them. Now he's getting chopped down. Oh, man. Noob 9. Bloody 9's little bro. Just holding that lane. I'm very, I mean, I'm really impressed with uh, Extreme Dinosaurs infantry play right now. They are really putting it to a spree at the moment. I mean, you don't really see a spree get bullied a little bit, but, you know, right now, you know, at least the first 30 minutes of this match, the big bullies right now are the dinosaurs. And they keep pushing further and further. Deeper and deeper, although we do see some cat progress. Wow, we have a red zone garrison. Oh, what up? How is this possible? You telling me there's nobody within 50 of this garrison? 100, excuse me, 100? That's so crazy.
Oh my god, that artillery. Can we get to just check on these stats? Because right now, oh my god, it's Kendrick. Kendrick is the artillery specialist today. Not Harold. Kendrick is just 62 kills, and we're only 30, not even 30 minutes. And triple that score. Oh my god, he does it again. Oh my god. I mean, talk about having the, the shit dialed in. Oh my goodness. Sheesh. Man, he is just gonna park it there and can just continue. Ames gets the trade with press F, but man, there's just so many extreme guys. Look at that. Um, Garrison. Got a precision. Does it do any damage? Does it take? Let's see the shell where it landed just missed. Again, they need to they need to tweak those. Splash damage values, that should have done more damage. That splash damage alone should have at least tracked it. Now Shaka. Convenant. Rolling with the tank. Oh, this is beautiful. Now, that card, it, yep, get rid of that, excuse me. Mars, Glado, Frida Panther. Thorpe, our squad lead. Is he going to run down there? What's he trying to do? Thorpe, that, that might not be a good idea, Thorpe. Let's try and get you last a little longer this time. You see... That's just not a good look. Soft cap progress. Let's pull it up. Bombing run again. Same place from Inchon. Now, he, he has to hit that, th that building on the corner. Not sure, does it get the house? Let's just wait and see. Yes, he was also looking for Garrison. Does it get Garrison? Yes, it gets Garrison. Now, that is a big boast to a spree. Now, Ken Kendrick, yep, yes, he did. Uh, before I could even say it, artillery round came out. Slam in the front door. Garrison's lost, which brings Gorilla Dabs and Shitter up. Now, did they did they just knock out that that medium? Oh my god, yeah, they knocked the medium out. That's huge. Now he's not out of damage. I mean, he's not out of not out of danger. Crims is waiting for him. They're out trying to repair. If Thorpey can clap, he doesn't get the clap. Convident gets. Now Crims. And that's the tiger that moved up. Now this, I believe that was a tiger that was sitting in the back on the bridge. Trying to get that splash damage in. Locking Shaka's squad from even getting out and allowing now see this allowing the team to push that that alleyway Shaka's doing a great job of holding it trying to allow his team maybe some nades Crazy close quarter combat fighting right here dash 30 and Thorpey trade
so close. So close for a spree. Now, they've doubled up. Extreme Dinosaurs have doubled up. Two Tiger Tanks. Really doing a nice job of holding. But that does kind of free up the north some. So if a spree does change up tactics, and decides to come up to the top of the three where we are here by the trenches, Roll the bush, Wookie happens. Uh, that's a satchel by Dean. He knows a lot of people are there. Uh, he's he's going to catch Rondo. He's definitely going to get sat. Man, he might get three for one. Grenade takes down two. Doesn't even need the satchel. I think he might get his own squad lead. Uh oh, Kale. Mm. Now we just crossed the 30 minute mark. Just a quick recap. Canal crossing was our, or is our strong point, midpoint. Off the rip, it was extreme dinosaurs taking the midpoint reasonably easily. I mean, there was a little bit of back and forth in the beginning, but I think once. Extreme brought their their light tanks and the recon tanks up. Really took control of this three story. And then obviously took the factory building. And uh, that was too much for a spree. They, they couldn't get in. And uh, basically slowly got wiped out. And we've been here back and forth now for the last 20, 25 minutes. Spree has made a couple successful counters. But again, it's been the... Great infantry play, and also that guy right there, Kendrick. He is just lightening up the scoreboard. There he is. I mean, that is just a sick amount of kills. 113 kills on artillery. I mean, he's a difference maker. He's buying the dinosaurs so much time to get back in the space if they get knocked out. Just when the spree's about to get into that three-story, here comes the artillery. Big map, big map. What do we got? Tank situation. We've got a 76 coming up. With Free, Claro, Claro, and Mars. Plus 60. They're a little light on fuel. But, uh, yeah, they, they've given up front door pressure because that artillery is just locking down the E, so they've decided to try and flank around from the backside. Now, the Tigers is locked in that little, that Y intersect just south of Canal Crossing. So if they can bring their infantry around, come up this lane here where Dash is, and make it all the way around, I mean, it's a big ask, it's a big if. But if Dash can get his OP, Without being seen by the MG Blue 6 up top on the top of the crane. And Duzeppel. If if those guys are looking to the west, you know, there it is. Dash and those boys might be able to hook around and get in behind these Tiger tanks. You know, you got both Tiger tanks right here. That's the Tigers are focused on the bridge and everything in and around those trenches to the northeast artillery is holding the front door and doing a hella job making it easy for the dinosaurs so a spree will continue to put pressure on the three story but you're going to start to see them hook around I think that's their best bet at this point
76 is being brought up. Now, he's dealing with two Tiger tanks, so he doesn't want to get too deep in. He's just probably trying to support the infantry one more time. Come, coming from the factory building, going basically northeast. If they can even do that, but man, Extreme has a lock. Shaka goes down to a grenade. So here's what I thought might happen. It's it's if Dash Crims. Yeah, there's their friend waiting for him. Dash is painted it already. Crims knows. Crims has a shot for sure. He's got one on the light. Nice job. Ducks out. Peek it again. Nice shot. Well done. Get you some, boy. That's, to me, there'll be an instant redeploy and get me some more rockets. You're in a great spot. Dash 30 is about to put his OP down, perhaps. I don't know. Take out the rest of those Tigers to the... To your rear. I've got another tiger moving up from the south. Mr. Do Boss Man. Old TL squad. Veteran. Veteran tanking squad. Now Paradox knows. He hears. Fourth point, we did see flex a little bit. All right, let's see. Can we get it? Can we get it? Paradox on the hustle. Bloody nine gets that one. Now let's take a look back here. I mean, we're seeing double cap progress. Where's our fourth ruins? Oh shit! This is this is something to be worried about here. Let's see what the uh, garrison situation looks like. We've got two garrisons. I think they're okay. They're gonna have to full reset, redeploy. I mean, you got Mike Lowry sitting in there. You got Drewski. Press up. These are some great shooters. Point is being taken back by a spree. Midpoint is contested and being captured. want to say that push for the fourth point has been stabilized by Spree. Let's get back up to Canal. Now has the side... Now they've, they've given up the front door. They're not as heavily stacked on the three-story. Is it Garrison again? Yes, replaced with Garrison the second time. But this is the dinosaurs adjusting to the pressure that they were seeing on their back end. Fuse. Let's lock on with Fuse. And this guy must have the best hat. That's the best party hat. Bar none. He's 
He's just defensive squad. I know he's on the back end. He's the one sweeping, looking for squad leads and OPs and whatnot. That's what he's doing. He's just running three, three grids deep. Speed Hilly, Rando, Anzu. Now, Taco with the sniper rifle? Oh, okay, Taka. Control on this, this three? You know, if they can't get in underneath, right? If they can't get in underneath the four, they're starting to make progress on, along the top with with tank support. I mean, they have a loose hold on on, on the trenches. I mean, I'm talking about the dinosaurs here. They only have maybe one. Well, actually, disregard. There's a whole bunch. Got to be garrison, sitting where gas is. have a shot on Thorpe. They don't see each other. I saw some of the highlight tape on this guy, man. Puyo Loco is no joke, man. This dude can light it up, man. And Spider-Man up in this bitch. He's jumping off the top. Drewski. The MG. Was it the pistol? He bought the pistol for that one? Now you can just see the way they shift. This is the communication that they're doing. They do have the garrison. And they might leave a couple guys here holding the front door to canal. But you could see a majority of the team, the dinosaur team, has gone south. Or should I say east? This front door is just not open for business. And you're seeing the dinosaurs adjust. You got dual tigers sitting there, my God. How do you break through? I mean, precision strike would be nice, get two for one. Shaka's OP. Getting some, getting some. He's clapping them all down the lane. run once again could it be just a replay now garrison we got a garrison white yeah we got a second garrison white and both tigers were sitting there did they did Inchon take out holy shit he took out one of the tigers with that bombing run let's go and the other one's damaged 
halfway through the match, and it's starting to get interesting now. I mean, the the stranglehold that the dinosaurs had. One more, one more. Can we get it? Oh, sir, no, sir, not today. Gets out of harm's way. But yeah, the the beginning was a dominant performance from dinosaurs really boxing out really well but now we're in the second half of the match now things are you know spree's getting a little bit more comfortable they're slowly bringing their lines up they've changed their tactics they went from front door to saying all right we're going to come up underneath you know just south of town center and we're going to work these two lanes up to get into the strong point I mean, the situation was Kinderek just absolutely lightened shit up on that artillery. Totally made them change their tactics. Let's get a quick look at the score. Kendrick, I want to say probably within the first 30 minutes of this match, had over 100 kills, and he slowed down. Now, I think it's partly because Esprit is determined to change up tactics, and wisely so. I mean, they may come back to that three-story, but... Be going down to Taz. Taz, a great shooter as well. So many good, talented players. Confident, I heard, is sick with it too. So, Confident getting the drop on Hill. Getting blown up himself. Now, Taz going up against the sniper Slay. Slay gets that with the wiggle. Man, in the blink of an eye, it just seemed like a second ago, the spree was up here by trenches north, and now they're completely pushed out. I mean, there's one squad lead left. But again, tactics changed. F5 moving north, they did want to get into the soft cap. Tiger tank is just across. You can just see he's just controlling. He's got that that area locked. Anything that comes out. tanks do they have any they haven't been able to keep their tanks on the board too long fuels a little bit of a concern Again, determined. That's the third time that Garrison has gone down. It's just a rinse and repeat. Look, you've got a hundred sitting there. So dinosaurs know they're like, hey man, you take it out, we're just gonna replace it. And that's what it's about. You don't have to be too 
Can the little get in there? Excuse me, little? Sherman. Medium. I like the tactic. I like the idea. Where is the other tiger? I do hear it purring a little bit. There it is. And I believe there's one across. How's this one? So we've got two tigers. These guys, Mr. Do. Everywhere you look, every lane. Yeah, gas is on your ass. Goddamn artillery is just Kendrick, man. MVP type performance. Down goes the tank. Sherman medium. Crazy. Everything that a spree has tried today, Stream Dinosaurs have had an answer for it. I mean, they played and have been playing. It's not over, but right now, for the first almost hour, we're almost an hour in. These guys have been lights out. Power clapping OP. Don't see a squad leader in the area. It's a full reset for a spree now. Oh. Now, I didn't see a squad leader come out of there, so that might be still a reset. Interesting. Moving the tanks up. Now, I guess their, their fuel situation must be really good. And I mean, map control is great, but how many tanks do they have? I mean... Oh, what the hell are you doing out here? This guy's the dusty old K98. Come on. Artillery by Adam. How's Adam doing on those stats? 88. Yeah, you can still see Kendrick is still almost double his score. A garrison as well? Oh, is that a garrison? That is a... A front door garage. Why is it in the red? Oh, oh never mind. It's uh, <laughs> it's perfect actually. Stream as their garrison ninja pulver takes down OP. It might have been Velatopus's OP.
And as I'm circling around, you can just see it. That is just orange everywhere. Stream dinosaurs. No longer holding lanes, and now they've decided, all right, let's push, let's push it up. Our fourth point to the distance you see, ruins. K98. One tap. No scope. It really is incredible how timely they are with the artillery. It's just so crazy. Once again, we're going to check it. Tactics have changed. Front door is not open. They, they are not getting in front door. This building over here, this building on the corner, they've been trying to rush it in. It hasn't worked. So now, now Spree has said, all right, let's clear out the six, all right? Clear our, clear our front door, which they've done nice because nothing's lit red. And they're putting all their pressure in from the south. So we'll see how quickly... Stream Dinosaurs adjusts to this new tactic. The tanks are going to have to move. And you can't bring them back, so I'm curious to see where they're going to put the heavies. Last man standing in, Sean. Thorpe gets that. So much for that push. Approaching the one hour mark, Garrison, Knowles, and Sap. About to pull it down. That's a long pull. Even with both of those guys working on it. This is our boy Fuse. Using Knowles about to get it on. Traded. So one hour mark is on the recap it again. Off the jump. Three two easy for uh Dinosaurs. They didn't have to work too, too hard. I mean, there was a moment, maybe two, three minutes where it was back and forth. But I think once they once they started getting the cap going there in their direction, it was straight through. In the beginning, it was a little bit back and forth. But it's been, for the last hour, mostly the dinosaurs controlling map, winning gunfights, tanks are, you know... Doing a great job. Uh, I've never seen it where spree tanks weren't able to hold lanes. 
Now, what was this that just popped off? Tiger tank goes down. And this is pretty much the lane they've been holding. The two tigers were here at one time. Oh, they still are. There's tiger to the south, tiger to the north. I mean, that's been the game plan. Hold the area by the factory and the three-story. And uh, look, even the adjacent building where Bloody Nine and Chikarian is in. They've, they've literally forced a spree to change everything up because this whole E4 is not open. It's completely owned by the dinosaurs. Recon plane going out. That's enemy. Should I say dinosaur recon plane going out? Now, Krems is about to run into Bloody Nine inside the factory building. This is something that you're not used to seeing from a spree. They're not grouped up. Usually they run two and three players deep. They're having a hard time staying grouped. I mean, at one point it was just the artillery just... Suka cleaning out. Cleaning out the factory building where Drewski was living. So oh, holding that building is super important. Now Tiger tanks are moving. Interesting. Looks like they're pulling off to the factory building. Ah, oh, okay. High speed and Rupert have gotten into the factory building. saw there must be a uh, there it is yeah that's the one that sits right here on the edge that you could put everybody knows about it even if you lose crossing that that garrison doesn't get taken it's in actually in the G Distance, gorilla and those boys, man, really pressing. Yeah, things are tough for a spree right now. cleaning up. They got more work. That's a fresh spawn. Hellbro with, with his OP. So it's squad on squad. Wow. Satchel. Timely. Takes out all the spree players. Oh my god. It's another garrison. Where are we at? Oh, that's a... Uh, wait a second. So they have, they have 
competing garrisons. So we've got a German garrison right here, and we've got the allied garrison right there. This is going to be fun. Bombing run. To the distance. Dinosaurs with their bombing run. It's clean in space. Let's go back over to uh, the fight. speed hill he's just waiting for somebody to peek there and he's on top of the, the Belgian gate Same place. Same exact result. We're looking for a garrison. Was it removed? <laughs> yes, it was for the third time. Now there's supplies. Yeah, those hundred are still sitting there. The garrison will be popped right back up. Just wait for, uh, who is it? Crusader. Come on down, Crusader. Put that garrison back up, buddy. Put that watch out. You know where to put it. How about, how about the corner? OP, baby. Where's that garrison? Time is absolutely flying. 20, 22 minutes on the clock, but more realistically, there's only 20 minutes remaining, two minutes for cat progress. And, uh, yeah, here come the Tigers. Down goes Stewart. Tiger peeks and sneaks out of the way. Guess who's back? That man on the artillery, 163 now. Adam is catching up, but he needs to get those timely kills, but it's really hard for him to get his kills because Dinosaurs are not bunched up. They're spread out. Their map coverage is impeccable today. They're everywhere and they're not in large groups. Okay. Once again, this is the uh, the way in. Call it the five points, I guess. Free garrison to the south. Unlock. Front doors open. Dinosaurs are really locked into their sector. And, uh, Thorpey's down one lane, Clownface down the other lane. Well, here's a difference maker in the distance Tiger. Tiger's gonna move up and he's gonna park it right here. Oh my god, where the other tiger is and control these lanes. I mean, it's really tank dominance today. I want to say dinosaurs, uh, I mean, with two tanks are holding down entire lanes, allowing infantry to spread out real nice. Try and see how far Shaka goes. I don't think these guys are going to be too, too aggressive. They know tanks are in the area. I'll launch that grenade. A lot of trading. Press F is we'll look ready to fill up the rest. Once again, artillery taking down Fortress. Fortress has not been able to do what he does best. 
I mean, he's he's having a hard time getting positioned to allow the Esprit infantry to move up. You know, and I can already feel Kendrick moving his gun around, trying to protect this building. I mean, he's already shelling. And probably going to walk it back. Jesus Christ. This guy's wonderful. I mean, unbelievable time and time again. Every lane. I mean, he is just there. I mean, look at this. Look what you got coming at you. Jesus, you picked the wrong lane to go down, boys. OP gets clapped. Crims gets two. Can he hold it long enough for squad leader to get up, though? Dash is up. OP. Let's keep launching. Let's keep. Man, now you're up against Thorpe and his squad. Suka gets that one. I mean, this is the this is the shit we're talking about. Close quarter combat fighting. Hagger tries to launch the grenade. Sick. You know, kind of wondering, you know, what what Adam's up to. I don't know where he's getting his calls, but man. Not seeing a whole lot of Esprit artillery. Now he could be on the point proper. That might have been Adams. Yeah, Adam is hitting the point proper. I think he should be shelling three-story. I mean, you know they've been building that damn garrison right there the whole time. And more supplies just went down. There's Garrison up right on time, like I thought. Time is ticking. We're under 15. Pull up big map, get an idea. Yeah, now you've got tank, you could see off screen, upper right, you got the tiger sitting in the top of the three, holding that lane down, pretty much forcing all the infantry to go south. Um, seven, six here. Now I know they must have a second tiger in reserve. Is he still up? All right, tiger. On the back end is now not there. Are we looking on the main road? There we've got one on the main road. So the 76 knows not to go too far. Let's get back in the shit. This is uh reason I had your lower third, dude. I couldn't get you in. My whole deck is full. I'll get you on the next cast reason. But I mean, this guy here. Got a little tiny hole. 
and he's shooting right down that damn little hole. That whole lane is closed. Check the next one. You know, I don't know, maybe maybe Extreme will overcommit to cleaning out this sector or this, that, that. That lane and leave this open again. I don't know, Vlad is right there sitting there, disciplined. Takes down Kiwi. Satchel. Garrison's up, no problem. Tiger tanks. Check it. Looks. Alright, 13 minutes is starting to get down to nitty gritty. Where's. My guess is come up underneath. Try and get in behind the tiger tanks. Maybe they'll peek out far enough. You get on their six. I don't think you're going to win the engagements coming frontal. Sap and crims. Smart. That is so incredibly smart. Good, good on you guys because you know that lane has been covered by... Tigers, you're just going to be patient. You know, you don't have to trade infantry, but man, you knock those tanks out, door might come open. Now, that would be nice if you could bring the 76 underneath. Pick one of these two lanes. But these guys are too smart. You got these guys controlling the other lane. Just waiting. Great use of barbed wire. Choke point. Easier to hold. Put an MG there. Good luck getting through. Hey, Foos. One more time, baby. What do you think? Remember, I'm not hitting unless you get the kill. Did you get clown face? Okay. You get that because you got clown. Ugh. Each lane getting sealed off by the dinosaurs. I mean, tanks, one, two, count them, three. Yeah, it's getting to that point where it's not going to matter. It ain't going to matter with the artillery from Kendrick, three tanks. Shooters are on today. Dinosaurs look unstoppable. that artillery how are we looking in the three three is completely vacated you know one more two more desperate pushes you got to get in got to quick win those gun battles because here comes the here comes the artillery And, you know, there's a lot of people to pick who is your MVP player, but I'm going to tell you what. Look at that guy, Kendrick. By the time we're said and done, that guy's going to cross 200 kills. And timely kills, not just 
some random kills in the middle of nowhere, man. He's getting clumps of infantry, knocking out entire pushes for a spree. I mean, look at this. You count the numbers. The spree should win this. There's three, and you've got at least eight with squad leads for a spree. Great use of the smoke. Lots of trades. Now Drewski laying down hate with that MG. Just anchoring that pile. Shooting through the smoke. You can hear the tank support to the to the rear. Behind him. Wow, this is what in the hell this just came out. Wow, did that just happen? Did he just one tap him? Is that a mine? Oh, are you kidding me? What? That was sick. And the second 76 is like, shit. That wasn't supposed to happen. Bombing run. This has got to be an Esprit bombing run. It's been in the same place over and over. Garrison did stay up. It was an Esprit bomb run. Bolt the Tigers. It's going to be... This is easy. Easy peasy. Done. Dunzo. Eight minutes on the clock, but really six with the cap. Six minutes for a spree to win. I believe it. Well, it has to be its first because they're new. They're newly reformed. They're the extreme dinosaurs, but this would be their first HCA title. A little less than six minutes away from getting that done. And uh, the way things are kind of washing out here, two Tigers still holding. Both of the 76s for a spree got lit up. It's going to be something magical for a spree. Because, uh... Shaka putting down an OP. And he's off to the races. This is surprising. I can't believe that door is open. I mean, the whole match, it's been tank after tank holding this lane, both lanes down. All the smokes are out. Now the garrison, a little further up to the north, Tiger. Boy, Excel. Yeah, not open. He's backing out. No, but for the first time, a, a spree's close enough to touch this, the strong point, which, you know, for almost an hour and change, hour and 25, they haven't got anywhere near this, not since the beginning of the match. And man, they're just losing these gun battles. You know, maybe pressing a little bit too much, trying to run. Shift W, getting into the, into the cap, not taking their time like they normally do. Maybe the, they're starting to feel the pressure of the time winding down. This satchel, oh my god, beautifully placed satchel that frees the boys. It's up to Vlad. STG getting two. Running out of bullets, time to. Man. 
What a great hold. Airhead coming down. Now who's airhead? That's an Esprit airhead. Wonderfully placed. Bombing run? Where are you at, bombing run? Didn't catch bombing run, but man, airhead still up. And I don't think a spree, or excuse me, dinosaurs know it just yet. Oh shit, did that just get. It's still up. Oh my god, a huge. Oh, holy shit, that was crazy. <laughs> oh my god, dude, that was crazy. Kendrick, they hate you, Kendrick. <laughs> they really, really do, dude. Oh my god. They're gonna find out where you live. That was, oh my God. <laughs> that was crazy. Now I wonder if it was Reason who just sat up on top and just pointed out, oh my God, a Haggard is dropping the f barbecue. Yo, the barbecue is crazy. Three minutes, 30 seconds, take two minutes away. You got a minute 30 left. A spree is getting close though, I must say. They've got infantry coming in front door. The pinch is on. Where the hell is the rest of this defense? Okay, the defense is coming back over the bridge. Everything is abandoned. What's, what's it looking? Yeah, there's literally nobody on the point. It's all in. It's less than a minute. Now, if you want to be a champion, you got to play like it. The last minute, we need Adam to drop some extremely timely artillery. Because if he can't do it, we're going to be crowning the Extreme Dinosaurs champions in the next 40 seconds. Wow, here we go. Just sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Twenty seconds. Tick tick tock. I think it's I don't think it's gonna happen. I think I think they've done all they needed to do. Ten seconds. And we're crowning those champions. They earned it today. Extreme Dinosaurs. Congratulations. You are the 2024 HCA champions. Well done. Well played. Well deserved. Now, the rest is just all window dressing. Let's check the scores. Inchon, great build. Lots of kills. Smearing. Yeah, Fortress didn't have as big, obviously, the artillery was just so huge today. Tankers played extremely well. Fupa, 3,500, good for you, man. What a great game. Let's just quickly run through our Extreme Dinosaurs. Big stats. Mike, how do you do it? Kendrick, what in the hell is that, dude? You are filthy for that. You are filthy for that, Kendrick. One more time, let's take a look at the score. This dude, 238 kills. I mean, doubles Adam, and Adam is no slouch on that gun, but man, Kendrick literally MVP for me. He allowed infantry to do what they do, and if you give the dinosaurs just the slightest bit of advantage. They took complete advantage of that. And here we are. A 3-2 comfortable win. I mean, hard fought. Don't get it twisted. I mean, it was definitely a hard fought W for the dinosaurs. But I don't think the point flex beyond uh, a third. Maybe once it got close to 50% cap, but not, not what I remember.
And there it is. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That was a freaking great match. I mean, it's a sweaty, hell of a, you know, grindy map. Uh, Stream Dinosaurs played it well from the beginning. They led from start to finish. Uh, in the beginning, it was a little bit of back and forth, a little seesaw for the first minute on the midpoint. But once, once they started to take that cap on Canal Crossing... It was straight through, continuous cap for those two minutes, and they really boxed out well. Um, Kendrick really was the MVP, forced uh, a spree to change up tactics because they were no longer going front door. They had to come up underneath, and um, those lanes were held extremely well by the tankers. So you had, like, a team win. Kendrick and the infantry holding the front door, the tanks holding the back lanes, not allowing anything in, and there was your perfect uh, recipe for for the W today for for the uh, Extreme Dinosaur. So congratulations to them. Um, it was definitely fun watching this. Uh, so what do we do going forward now? We're just gonna take a little break. Obviously the, um, the seasonal is about to get started. So we got about three weeks to chill out and, you know, uh, whatever, go, go, go out and have fun and get away from hell at loose, get away from the computer. I mean, there will be some uh, scrimmages that I cast and some friendlies that I cast, but, you know, um, seasonal is about to jump off soon. Also, before I go, just want to say thank you to everybody over at the HCA, all the guys behind the scenes there, Star Lord, uh, one of the guys in particular, He's uh, stepped up nicely and helped out. And, uh, you know, just a big congratulations to the Orga for putting together a really nice tournament. And it was my pleasure to cast it. But anyway, that'll be all for me. Remember, guys, hit the like, you know, comment, subscribe, follow, get notification bell, yada, yada, all that good stuff, man. And uh, you guys enjoy the rest of your day. And we'll see you soon. See you on the next one. Take care. Peace.